Last night, Cardi B dropped the music video for her song Enough and people felt like she was dissing Nicki Minaj and JT. So the lyrics go, bees is washed up, soap on the dishes, and of course people felt like she was talking about Nicki Minaj. So here's where people felt like Cardi B was dissing Nicki Minaj, JT, and I Spice. So Cardi B says, one B, two B, old B, new B. So of course people feel like the old B is Nicki Minaj, the two B is J, I mean JT, and the new B would be I Spice. So if you guys heard the song, do you guys feel like Cardi B was dissing Nicki Minaj and JT and I Spice? And I also heard people say they felt like she was dissing Sweetie. I'm not exactly sure about that. So you guys know Cardi B dropped her music video for her Like What Freestyle last week. And at the end of the music video, she says stay tuned because she has some new music coming. People on social media started accusing Cardi B of copying Bia and Bia actually responded to that. Yeah. So Bia responded with some emojis and she also said y'all are sick. Now someone in the comment section said don't fall for the stand wars Bia. You going up a daily in real time, love to see it. And she responded and said appreciate it last. So at the time everybody kept saying this was the Missy sample and Bia responded and said this is not the Missy sample, this is fallback and Francis got heat, made the beat, what the F. Now Cardi B did respond and said bees make fool of themselves every single time. I'm gonna show you something when I release the song though. So then you guys know fast forward to last night, Cardi B released, you know, the music video for Enough. So when Cardi B's song Enough, she said, I'm in Miami, I'll pull up on a cruise ship, you in Miami, four females to a room-ish. Now in Bia's music video for Fall Back, it was her and three other females in a hotel room, so people felt like Cardi B was dissing Bia. So Bia went to her Twitter and said some laughing emojis. She said, asking you shall receive. And she also said it's getting weird. And then she posted this video as well. Don't compare me to they don't do enough. I honestly feel like the only person Bia can be mad at is the producer. Like she said, the producer is the one who made this beat and obviously he gave it to Cardi B and he gave it to Bia. The only person Bia can be mad at is the producer because he's the one that gave the beat to Cardi B. But do you guys feel like Cardi B is going to respond to Bia? Let me know down in the comment section below. Cardi B did also hop on Instagram Live and talk about how she came up with the title for her song, Enough. I mean, we named it Enough because you guys were suggesting it to be called Enough because you guys initially named it Miami, but it was never... It, but I think you guys named it Miami because I said, I'm in Miami, I pull up on cruise ship, you in Miami for all so room. So you guys call it that, and because I previewed it in Miami. But the song is originally called, and her name is Cardi K. And the reason why I call this song Cardi K is because I did this song. I did the song. I said it in an in an interview. Um, I was really I was really angry. But I felt like was ganging up on me, and I feel like I was very like underestimated. And even like my fan base, I have like a fan base like it's big, but it's like. It's a very underestimated fan base. So like Cardi K, I don't know if you know how people be like EBK, like everybody killer. So I just felt like everybody was on some Cardi K. Like, oh, y'all some Cardi killer. Sh Fuck you hoes. Fuck you. And I got on my studio on some mad shit, but honest truth, I'm not even on that space right now. I don't give a fuck about nobody right now, but that's her original name. Like, you know, that's her original name. Her original name is Cardi K, but her stage name is Enough slash Miami. I want to say thank you guys because so many people, like fake music critics, they were talking so much about it. But it's like, clearly y'all loved it. It's a freestyle with no support, no nothing. It, it, it charted what, 38? It charted 38 on billboards. And not only that, because it's not even about the charting. It's the fact that it's like, it got so much TikToks. It got so much reels. And that means that people are generally listening to it. Everybody, the bad up the fucking rich the poor um the skinny fat everybody listen is talking about first that bitch hate me then this bitch hate me and somehow they link up and they become friends like how i haven't seen some white old ladies doing it like it's like damn even the white suburban moms is listening to that shit. pipe down so it's like that's why that's why i'm not even i'm not even gonna listen to these anymore i'm just gonna drop my music like you drop it that puss